Hi, I'm Fritz Williams. Welcome to Forum Decor. Come on in. Come on in and see my office. Here's my inspiration board. I uh, put clippings on here daily. Some of my favorite uh, images are from Kelly Wurstler. I know you hear that name a lot nowadays, but I still find her very inspiring. And um, for instance, this, this table right here, I got it out of a magazine and I actually found this exact table at a estate sale, so that made me very happy. There's also a designer called uh, Christopher Guy, which uh, has a very elegant old Hollywood style furniture that I love and his color combinations are just amazing as well. Over here I have my library. I, uh, I collect uh, designer books. Uh, this uh, particular book is Tony Duquette. It's one of my favorites. Uh, a local uh, designer, jewelry designer in Los Angeles and he did a lot of furniture. I have a lot of uh, research books from the 60s and 70s and so forth. Uh, uh, decor books that I get at like estate sales and things like that. A lot of times I go through here and if there's something I like then I have it built because we have our own shop and uh, especially sofas, uh, tables and so forth. Very inspiring. Now let's go see the warehouse. We moved because we outgrew the last space. The last space was about 15,000 square feet and our new warehouse is 22,000 square feet and as you can see it's pretty expansive. Uh, we have uh, 30 foot ceilings so we're in LA County now which is advantageous for scenic artists, set decorators and so forth because we're closer to, to them. Let's go down my favorite aisle. It's right here and it's uh, very colorful and uh, like I said previously I love fabric I love texture and um, this is evidence of it right here. Um, a real popular uh, item that we have that we've added is these uh, boxwood planters which are instant room dividers, restaurant for sets and so forth. They're really beautiful. We normally put uh, uh, Mexican River Rock on the top here which is really fabulous. Uh, and then you have to see this bar that I designed. Um, it's, uh, it's actually rubber, uh, it looks like real bark, it's rubber, it's made from molds from real, a real tree mold, or a real tree bark I should say. It's rubber, very durable, and then uh, what we do is we put uh, broken glass or leaves or something underneath this glass on the top and light them. It's really, really, really fabulous. <laughs> Le Corbusier, which is very, very popular. We have many, many, many pieces in black leather, uh, white leather. Um, very popular, and very, uh, very functional. It can be a mid-century design. You can, it can be an eclectic design. You can mix them with old Hollywood. You can mix them with uh, 1970s, 1980s furniture. Very, very versatile. This chair right here, this is how it all started, form decor. Before I even started form decor, I was collecting mid-century furniture and reselling it. So I put ads throughout the Midwest and uh, one ad um, got a correspondence from or a response from someone uh, that's uh, closing a bank in Anderson, Indiana and they had uh, over 40 of these chairs. So I bought them all. And I, my brother picked them up and drove them all the way to California. There was uh, green, purple, and chartreuse all in one bank. So that's kind of how the business started. I, I sold them. Uh, at that time it was retail, it wasn't rental. I sold all of them. This is the only one left. And so I just hang on to it for memory's sake, memorabilia. So that's how Form Decor all started. We deliver from San Diego all the way to Santa Barbara. This is one of our delivery dude trucks. It's a 16-foot bobtail with a lift gate. 
It's a beautiful champagne color. She is a workhorse.